This is an Auto Sleeper Warwick XL. It's a 6.3 meter vehicle, finished in a rather fetching gold color. I have to say, makes a nice change from the white. It's based on a Peugeot chassis, so it's a 165 horsepower engine in this one and a manual gearbox. And I'm going to give you a walk around the outside and then we'll take the full tour of the interior, of course. So we'll start out here. A couple of things to show you on the outside. It's got the LPG tanks, of course, there under the floor, and that's giving you power for things like your heating and your cooking and your hot water. This one here, that's access to the cassette for the toilet. And then you've got your 240 power hookup as well. In fact, that will also power the heating and the hot water. Over here, this one is a satellite hookup. So if your site that you're staying on has got satellite hookup, you can plug straight into there and that takes it into the vehicle for you. That one there is a water inlet. And if we head on all the way around, you can see it's quite a decent sized vehicle, this. You've got the rear doors and then head on around this side and a couple of other things to show you are this one is an LPG outlet. So those gas tanks I was telling you about, you can plug in a barbecue straight into there and have that on the outside of the vehicle. Water filler is just here. The other thing this one's got is a big awning. You can see it across here. So that comes right out and gives you shade across here if you want it. And then this is the door that takes us to the interior. Now there's a button here that powers out the step and then we can head on in. Now right at the front of course this is where you drive it from. This seat swivels so you can have a bit more seating into the interior using that. And of course goes around to match this one when you're underway. And then you can see here the instrumentation and so on. That's a reversing camera there so that's giving you a view out the back when you are manoeuvring. Now this has got the toilet back here. This is worth mentioning in particular because, rather unusually, it's actually got a separate shower area. So you don't have to get everything wet. There's a door, you can see it clips back over on this side. That comes across here and that means you've got a proper separate shower and you've got somewhere you can step out into the dry. I think that's a very nice feature. And then if we close that, then opposite there, is the kitchen. There is a lift up section here. You can see if you want to increase the work surface that you've got, then you can do that. You've got the three burner hob and the oven and grill underneath. There's a sink next to it. And as you can see, the fridge is down here as well. Now that fridge will actually run from three power sources. So it'll either run off that 240 power if you are plugged in, or it'll run off the gas, or in fact, once it's cold, you can keep it cold using the leisure battery when you're driving. The other thing to show you just while we're up here, this then is the control panel. So it's giving you things like your uh, water levels. Of course, they're empty at the moment because this is brand new. Uh, you can also control lighting from in here as well. So it's an override to turn all the main lighting off and on. And then you've got a heater control next to it. So let's head on back a bit further. This is drawers over on this side, like so. And there is a big storage locker here. And in fact, you'll see there's a table in there as well and that pole and that is designed so you can drop it into that socket there and have a small table. Now, if you want a large table here, there is one. If I go back to the front, I'll show you. In fact, it's up in here. So if you want more space for dining, then you've got it. But I think the big feature of this actually is when we do come back here, this big area here. Now, you can make this if you want to into a big double bed. These slide across and that makes a really good sized bed. Or you can have it as two singles. What some people do is just pull these out slightly to get a bit more space. So you still have a walkway down the center and then you've got a very nice sleeping area there as well. Rear doors, of course, at the back so you can get straight in and out through this area. And then these are all storage up above here. And then in the ceiling, we've got touch lights. So these pop on like so. And that little fellow at the top there, that is a carbon monoxide alarm so very sensible thing to have in any enclosed space like this but that is a really nice area and this vehicle for two people to go touring in is fantastic because you've got a lovely living area you've got that really good sized toilet decent kitchen area and it is a nice spacious van let's come right to the back very good 
There's skylights up in the top and there are blinds that slide across. These are mosquito nets if you pull them that way so you can still get air through but keep the bugs out or you can slide that across like that. And of course that shuts out the light. You've got exactly the same on the side windows as well. So these pull up to give you proper blinds or drop down from mosquito nets. So of course all of these open so you can get lots of ventilation into here. Very good. Let's come back out here and step down. And I'll say huge thanks to Nick Well Motorhomes for organising that tour for us. And huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.